Mykolaiv before the war, a city of almost half a million population. Today, an important outpost on the Ukrainian southern front line. During this almost eight months of full-scale Russian aggression in Ukraine, Mykolaiv has seen very few calm days without airstrikes, without destruction. Let's see what it means for the local people. Locals say there is no sense of security anywhere in the city. More than 12,000 buildings in the whole Mykolaiv region have been damaged or destroyed. Mykolaiv has been regularly targeted by cluster bombs, very dangerous for civilians, as well as the low-precision rockets, which land on the residential buildings, causing destructions. Air alarms are regular and they can find one in the transport, supermarket or outside, and there is usually nowhere to hide. The town doesn't have drinking water. It was coming from Kherson, now temporarily occupied by Russia. Now what the taps are running is not fit for drinking. It tastes like seawater. The system that supplies it is constantly being repaired, often damaged by shelling or by water containing too much salt. And with winter and the heating season around the corner, this situation doesn't look very optimistic. The drinking water has to be carried home in bottles from the distribution points outside. The volunteer movement to support the Ukrainian army, help the families in dire situations, assist in evacuations from dangerous zones, as well as mobilization for blood donations, all very common here, as all around Ukraine. I understood one important thing, that the biggest capital, the biggest uh, asset in the war is people. People can unite, people can help, people can, people can fight. Uh, of course, when we hear all those explosions, shellings and everything, people feel very bad about that because it might be your neighbors, it might be your own flat, it might be the place where you work, it might be the school of your children, but people try to learn how to overcome it because people really hope that one day the victory comes and we will start rebuilding our city. With many businesses closed, a lot of residents have found themselves out of work, often turning to drastically different work to survive. I worked in the restaurant business and had a small restaurant. Then COVID-19 came and then the war. Now I've had to re-qualify as a taxi driver. I like this work actually, if people are nice. We talk. I learn a lot of new things. When a restaurant or other business is open, it's marked on their cardboard window with big letters to be seen. After 7 p.m., moving around gets complicated. After the sun goes down, Mykolaiv goes pretty much into darkness. Only some streets uh, can put their street lights on, uh, but everywhere else it's uh, quite dark. You can see the silhouettes of people walking their dogs or returning home, They're sometimes using the torches. And uh, this is, of course, a security measure for this town that is regularly under attack.